isolation lockdown quarantine some words which have become synonymous with human life social distancing has become a way of life sanitizers a part of daily essentials and masks a compulsory part of our attire a few months back when coronavirus was affecting the lives of the people in the other parts of the world how many of us thought that it would reach us tomorrow's come sooner than we expect and they never forgive us for yesterday's behavior in a matter of months the world has been transformed thousands of people have already died and hundreds of thousands more have fallen ill from corona virus that was previously unknown before appearing in the city of wuhan in december 2019 for millions of others who have not got the disease their entire way of life has changed by it this pandemic has brought a major transformation in the lives of the people the roles have changed the policemen and the doctors have become corona warriors schools virtual and the priorities have changed we are all locked inside our homes living a simple life eating simple food and inhaling clean air something which was beyond imagination before corona if we look at the situation carefully this pandemic has taught man a lesson and that is whenever the earth decides to heal itself there occur such pandemics the rising temperatures melting glaciers ozone depletion and high air quality index were all indicating that a time might come when nature would take a stand to control this ongoing devastation and destruction on november 6 2019 an article published in the newspaper said that more th- more than 11000 scientists have u- issued a fresh warning stating that the earth is facing a climate emergency the authors warned that this climate change is intensifying faster than most scientists predicted and is threatening the natural ecosystems and the fate of humanity a planet has shown us what a difference in lifestyle can be made in a short duration of time we always wondered if it was too late to combat climate change but mother earth has shown us that we can reverse it and help her heal if we all do it together mankind got busy protecting its species nature took this opportunity to flourish the rising temperatures pace down the air become cleaner and the waters clearer the corona virus outbreak has been a significant drop in air pollution in many parts of the world data from satellites over the last few weeks have shown a significant drop in polluting gases like nitrogen dioxide unexpected effect on the environment from the coronavirus has been seen in Venice, Italy. With tourist numbers curled because of the virus, the waters in the Venice canals are cleaner than they have been in living memory. So much so, in fact, that fish can be seen once again in the canals. The wildlife has started reviving. Dolphins visiting the coasts of Marine Drive. White swans swimming freely in the waters of Venice. 
ideas roaming freely in Japan and Sri Lanka. Civet cats on the streets of Kerala, endangered turtles on the beaches of Brazil are a proof of that nature as its own way of balancing things. Pertinent questions here are Does it take a pandemic like COVID-19 to bring people together? To act in unison against something which a threat to their life? If pandemics like COVID-19 can bring people together, then why not climate change? The strength. This simple proverb has always stood the test of time. Whenever human beings have come together for a cause, there have been miracles. And the way the world is fighting together to eradicate COVID-19 is an example in itself. Once this is over, let us come together again with the same zeal and effort to put an end to some of the major environmental issues which are a threat to our planet. It's safe to say that no one would ever have wanted for emissions to be lowered this way. COVID-19 has taken a grim global toll on lives health services, jobs, and mental health. But if anything, it has also shown the difference that communities can make when they look out for each other. And that's one lesson that could be invaluable in dealing with climate change. So before the earth decides to heal itself once again, let us treasure it and preserve it for ourselves and generations yet to be born. concerned about the serious risks that climate change poses in present and future generations. I promise to do my best to reduce the greenhouse emissions caused by me and to cut my personal climate footprints by half within 10 years or faster. To achieve the target, I will pay attention to the climate footprint of my energy use, traveling, eating and consumption habits electronic devices and household appliances, as well as my financial savings, I will make low-carbon choices wherever possible. I pledge to consider addressing my unavoidable climate footprints by offsetting emissions, which I cannot reduce to become climate neutral now. <sighs> share my experiences in making cleaner choices with my family, friends and colleagues and encourage them to their bit. Thank you and Jajagat.